Okay, so I wanted to show you how you can send a multi-part form data request. And this is particularly useful if you're working like I am at a form upload or you're building in your backend an upload functionality where you can just send a file to the backend. And you implemented the backend part and you just wanted to give it a test to see if everything is working without actually having a front end. And um, I'm having right now a very small application is written in Java with Spring Boot and uh, my endpoint is uh, slash upload and I'm expecting to get here a multi-part file and if everything goes well the endpoint will return yes your, your upload was successful. So um, to test that I will use a tool called uh, Postman and Postman is a very nice tool if you want to test your REST API to see if it works well without um, yeah, having a front end or having other possibilities. So I already have Postman installed but if you don't have it uh, you can just go to getpostman.com and uh, get it up and running very easily. So let's go in Postman and this will be a post request and uh, my address is HTTP and I'm gonna go to upload where my endpoint is and I will select the tab body and after that I will select form data and here if I'm looking at my code I'm expected that the file that I'm uploading is called file. So I'm gonna just copy that and go back. I'm gonna type in file. And now here I will select, instead of text, I will select file. And I will select one file that I will upload. It's a simple text file. And I'll run this command to see what happens. And yeah the file was uploaded successfully so this worked very well um, as you can see i don't have any headers here and if you if you have any headers pre-filled here you might get um, you might get an error so if you set the content type to multi-part form data and I'll select another file just to make sure that this doesn't happen. So if I'm submitting this, you might get an error. So this is this is Java, but you might be using PHP or something else. You just have to test it. But if you get such an error, which um, mentions boundary, is because you didn't submit a boundary with your content type request. So it's best in Postman just to remove this field and let uh, basically Postman do the work. So remember, it must be a post request. You must get your endpoint right. You must select form data and then you name this key uh, appropriately for your application. So in my case, it was file. In your case, could be something else. And here, instead of text, you select file so that you can actually select a file. Now, let's go back in my application to see if this was um, processed. So I have here my upload folder. And as you can see, I have the text one file. And I can go back to Postman. And after I got this error, I can resubmit a request. And now, as you can see, I managed to submit the second file. I can go back to my project and I will see I'll have here both files. So this is exactly what I wanted. So remember, 
um, install Postman. It's a great tool. It's a free tool. And uh, have fun testing your API or testing your multi-part form data request. Uh, looking forward for your comments. And if you need any other help with using Postman, just drop a comment at this video. Thanks a lot.